while we try and be a good corporate citizen all around, we, we do have two areas of focus in our philanthropy. One is education, and particularly for disadvantaged youth. Um, trying to sort of close the, the achievement gap and get more, more disadvantaged and uh, minority youth into colleges. What we do was fund programs run by people like the Harlem Children's Zone or the After School Program or Prep for Prep. We provide as well kind of in-kind services because we're a big, huge publisher, obviously. We have a lot of other forms of media that can be made available, and so we try and do it in a collaborative way. The second area of focus is uh, the arts. They enable people to get in touch with their better selves and to find a place where their imagination can kind of play out in a more robust way. As a media company, the lifeblood of our business, from, from Time Warner's perspective, is creativity, whether it's journalistic stories or other stories that are intended to entertain us or inform. And so the thrust of our philanthropy is in essentially supporting the underpinnings of that creativity, whether it's through you know, just increased education and knowledge about the world in which we live, or sharpening skills uh, as a storyteller or actor. We support organizations like the Apollo Theater, where I happen to serve as chairman. The Apollo was in jeopardy because it's an old theater. It needed to be sort of captured and revamped and lifted up again. So we've been able to work with them to sort of help refurbish the theater and revitalize the programming up there. And we're trying to bring it back to its former glory. I remember my grandmother once told me, you know, that, that the signature qualities of a, of a true gentleman are grace and humility, and those would be the words that I would use to characterize the Arthur Ashe I remember. I also know that he was a champion of the underrepresented, so I think for our company to be associated with him and his name and his legacy for our contributions is a great honor, and we're deeply grateful. Oh